iOS 7 includes some improved accessibility features for the iPad, including some switch control options. These can be found in the settings menu under the general tab. Here I've set this iPad up so that a triple tap on the home button starts the auto scan feature. Here it's been set to scan in groups and touching anywhere on the screen indicates your selection. The scanning speed is adjustable and here I've slowed it down a little just for ease of illustration. Scanning items individually is also possible, although of course this is a little slower. Almost every feature of the iPad is available through these methods, through a system of sub-menus like this one, although of course these require some navigation skills. Here I'm using the submenus to switch to an alternative to auto scanning, which is point scanning. This uses a system of crosshairs for the user to pinpoint the area of the screen they'd like to select. This requires a good sense of timing and a little practice. Here I'm using it to select and play a video. Both methods can be used with the on-screen keyboard to assist with typing. Here's a brief example of both methods, but most users will probably find the group scanning feature a little easier. External switches can be used, but they require a separate connecting device such as this Bluetooth switch interface. These need to be charged up, and Bluetooth connections are not always the most reliable. Setting them up can be a little complicated too. Here I'm activating the switch so that the iPad recognises it, and then I'm using the group scanning method to select a song. It's worth remembering that these are just some of the solutions available for the iPad and there are lots available for Windows and Android devices too. The wrong solution can be expensive and cause frustration for users, so if you're in any doubt, don't hesitate to get some professional advice. <laughs>